How's it, man? My name is Jay. Um, full name, Kamuhetsu Matibedi. I am from Pretoria West, Atchishville, by residence in Sheeran West. This is my baby right now. Um, what you got here is um, Harvey Dent, um, a Mark 1 Golf on a custom tube chassis with a beta engine in the back. Right now, it's a 1.6 twin ports. Um, the height is measured at 118, if I'm not mistaken. It was the lowest at Camp Fist. Um, it scrapes everywhere you go. It sparks. It took a speed bump just now. Um, and you think my front caught on fire a bit. But uh, this is what we've got. The first time you guys saw this car was without a shell, right? It was a BMW versus VW 2018. Um, it was just a sort of a rolling pan go-kart, but I had the bags and everything. Engine in, I drove it around. A um, couple of months later, I decided to go get my golf, which is rotten. Took the cut off the floor, put it on the pan, uh, put the custom tube chassis, you know, with roll bars and everything underneath so that it stays solid so that I can put my 2.1 motor in it so I can sort of maybe race it down the track one day. Okay, so at Simply Fish Customs, we built this car um, sort of to challenge ourselves because we were a bit bored with the cars we built, sort of. Now to say our cars are bad. So um, we built it to be different, but at the same time, we built it to inspire somebody else with some creative, crazy genius, you know? Um, one day, kids are gonna walk past and see this car and think, man, I wanna build something crazier than that. So we never built to win shows. I never entered into a show. I never actually entered into a competition because I'm not about the competition. I'm about all the passion, building, loving the cars, and just chilling out with my Bruiser car shows. So this car is here just to inspire everybody else and to see that there's no limits to any car. You can build whatever you want, you can do anything you want. So what we got here is a three bag setup. One individual bag in the front on the Beetle suspension. Uh, the bag is a two bag setup. Uh, I got my two fuel cells because I couldn't fit a normal petrol tank in. Yeah, you only see the golf front, right? The car is actually an interchangeable front. So it has two fronts. There's the Mark 1 Jetta and the Mark 1 Golf. Today we went to the Mark 1 Golf because Usually people go crazy for the Jetta, but nobody's actually seen it with the Golf, the original front, which I think is also a lot of cool, like a cool looking front. So today, we got the one front. But the next show you're going to see it at, I could have both fronts here, I could have one front here. It's maybe basically a surprise for anybody. And it's, uh, it's a cool idea. I don't think it's been done before. Um, I don't know what I was thinking when I did it, but I love the fact that I did it, man. You know, it makes me different. Sort of, uh, if you own some comics, if you know how he dent, he's two face. He has one face, like a normal one, and he has the other crazy face that's burnt off. My Jetta face is the crazy burnt off face where you look at it, you think, maybe that car looks European, then it looks South African. But when I've got the golf front on, it looks like normal, and you're like, this is a homegrown car. It's from, you know, the plants built somewhere and somebody did something crazy with it. So that's what it's all about. Um, because of the uniqueness of this car, it gets a lot of attention. So you can, I drive it, when I drive it from home, People stop, stare, hazards go on because they want to see what's going on. Um, sort of the robots will stop for me to just get across so they can see the car. Um, so it's not just people that are car enthusiasts that like the car. Um, it's random, random people, the adults and the kids will just turn their head and look at the car, trying to understand what's going on. And I don't get a lot of hate, I get a lot of love because people have never seen something like this before. And for some odd reason, people love it. It's different, it's unique, they love the craziness about it. They like that it's different. So the attention is a lot, it's good. I actually like the attention. Um, I think it's good for the car because somebody out there is going to tell somebody, you know, good things can only happen from the word of mouth. So the memories from this car, creating, building this car are insane. If this car would have disappeared today, I still have the memories. And that's the best thing about this thing. That's the best thing about building a car with your best friends and stuff like that, is that you create bonds and memories, you meet people, you have a great time, you make other people smile on the road because they think you're crazy and out of your mind. And that's okay with us because this is what we love to do. Um, this car was built by Simply Fresh Customs in our backyard at my grandmother's crib. But this is not the only car we've built. We've built a 1974 Yellow Beetle with a Safari window. Um, it's very unique. Uh, also an air ride. Um, if you want to follow us, you can follow us on Simply Fresh Customs on Facebook, on Instagram. If you want to follow me, you can follow me at Dub Life on Instagram. Or you can search me on Facebook as Kiamati Matiberi. I'm also there. I'd also like to thank, you know, my boys Simply Fresh Customs here in the background for being there with us through and through. Whether you love the car, I love you too. If you hate it, I still love you.